Tereko Kato. This is Info Jam, back for Term 2, where we stop and update you on news and info from the past week. Leading news this week. Smoke Free Day this year has been extended to a whole month. This year's theme is We're Backing You, which will focus on the team effort it takes to support people to quit smoking and stay smoke free. Last week, Associate Minister of Health Dr. Verrill said that the smoke free vision should last for more than a single day. So this year, it will be for all of May. She shared Aotearoa New Zealand has always observed World Smoke Free Day on the 31st of May, but we recognise the need to celebrate our smoke free vision for more than a single day a year. So for the first time ever, we will focus on this mahi for the whole month of May. Dr. Vero said smoking is still the leading cause of preventable death in New Zealand and causes one in four cancers. It is particularly prevalent in Māori, Pacific and low income communities. In world news, the world's richest man, Elon Musk, has bought the social media platform Twitter for over 65 billion New Zealand dollars. Musk, who is the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, said that he plans to make changes to the social media platform by relaxing content restrictions and getting rid of fake accounts and spam bots. Spam bots are automated programs that pretend to be real accounts and spread junk content. Mr. Musk supports less moderation on social media. This means giving people more freedom to say whatever they want. In a statement on Twitter announcing the deal, Elon Musk said, free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy. Currently, Musk has over 80 million followers on Twitter. From the Odstuff file, Britain's Queen Elizabeth is being honoured with a Barbie doll in her likeness. The new toy marks her Platinum Jubilee, which is this year. The toy has been created by toy manufacturer Mattel. They said the company was commemorating the monarch 70 years on the throne with a tribute collection Barbie doll. Queen Elizabeth, who is 96 years old, ascended the throne on the death of her father, King George VI, on February 6, 1952, and is the longest ruling monarch in British history. The doll will be sold in London stores, Harrods, Selfridges and Hamleys ahead of official Platinum Jubilee celebrations in early June. In sports, Russian and Belarusian players have been banned from Wimbledon 2022 due to the invasion of Ukraine. Players from Russia and Belarus are also banned from playing any of the UK grass tournaments. Men's world number two player Daniel Medvedev from Russia and women's world number four player Arena Sabalinka from Belarus are the highest ranked players to be affected by the ban. The ban is only for players, so Russian and Belarusian coaches, umpires and physiotherapists can all still be involved in the tournament. Our pop culture topic this week is TikTok creates a musical. TikTok has revealed that it will be creating its first original TikTok musical. This musical will be called For You Page. I play on the words For You Page where users can find trending videos. For You Page will tell the story of teenage music fan Landon, who works with his best friend Paige on a TikTok song inspired by her favourite book series. The idea for the musical came from Daniel Mertzluft, who has been posting behind the scenes to the app about who has been cast, rehearsals and recording sessions. Mertzluft was the creator of the successful Ratatouille, the TikTok musical, which was based on the Disney Pixar film. In recent times, musical theatre has become popular on the social media. Latest trends show that the hashtag musical received 6.4 billion views and have recently a TikTok creator won a Grammy for their musical which they posted to the app. Finally, the value of the week this week is choices. Choices is the value of choosing between two or more possibilities. There are times when we can feel like there's just too many options and we can't decide between things. When you have to make a choice, it's helpful to take some time to think about the pros and cons of how each option could turn out. A helpful way to start is by thinking things like, where does this lead? Will this make a big difference if I go with this option or not? Or how does it fit with my goal? By starting with those types of questions, you may be able to eliminate some options straight away. Then you can work out the pros and cons of each option and make your choice. And a huge shout out to Hampton Street School in Nelson. Have a great day guys, stay cool. Well, that's it for this week's Info Jam. If you want to know more about these stories and others like them, make sure you have a look around kiwikidsnews.co.nz and remember to tune in next week for our next Info Jam. Ka kite anō.